as successful as some immunotherapies have been, they are also not working in many people. So in the US at least, where I'm from, there's a lot of hype right now around immunotherapy. Every third commercial on television is about immunotherapy because in the US, pharmaceutical companies are allowed to directly market to consumers. So if you turn on the television, every third commercial is about a new immunotherapy for treating lung cancer, a new immunotherapy for treating breast cancer, for treating colorectal cancer. These eventually may work, but right now why they're limited is that for some reason, the immunotherapy fails. And I envision it to why exactly we need molecular imaging. Our war against bacteria, against infections, was very difficult before the microscope. We didn't have the tools to visualize bacteria. We had no idea whether a drug was working by killing a bacteria in bacterial culture under the microscope. These new molecular imaging tools are letting us look inside the body and thereby letting us see why an immunotherapy is failing. For example, today I showed an example of where CAR T cells were being damaged before they ever made it to the tumor site. We would never have discovered that without imaging. By having the imaging tools, we can connect the dots from A to Z as to why a therapy is working or not. And in the case of immunotherapy, hopefully by connecting all the dots, when we start to understand why the immunotherapy is failing, we'll be able to develop better immunotherapies to treat it or to improve it and to treat a person successfully.